macroeconomic conditions. On the implementation of fiscal policy, while policies remain consistent with the IMF supported program thus far, challenges associated with revenue mobilization persist and will require additional efforts to safeguard the revenue led fiscal adjustment program. The country's external sector position has continued to improve significantly in the first eight months of the year, supported by a current account surplus, reflecting higher gold export receipts, import compression, and lower outflows from the services and income accounts. The lower balance of payments deficit, the domestic gold purchase program, as well as inflows from the mining sector, and the liquidation of short-term external liabilities contributed to rebuilding the country's reserve buffers. In the last quarter of the year, reserve accumulation would be further bolstered by the expected inflows from the COCO syndication loan, the second tranche of the IMF ECF facility, and other multilateral inflows. On inflation dynamics, the continued maintenance of a tight monetary policy stance and relative exchange rate stability have contributed significantly to the disinflation process observed in the year thus far. Headline inflation has declined by a cumulative 14% since the peak of 54.1% recorded in December. Well, so what I was saying is that that was the, the governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Yudu Addison. Um, he's talking to us about the maintenance of the inflation of uh, uh, the MPC rate at 30%. Let me go straight to Dr. Assuming Patrick, assuming um, my very own man from the University of Ghana Business School. Doc, if you can hear me, I'm joining us via Zoom. Doc, if you can hear me uh, briefly, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, I want to go straight to the point to ask what does this mean, but I want to ask whether it is going to affect inflation and whether it is going to affect lending rate as anticipated. Okay. Good evening and good evening to viewers. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Doc. Okay, great. So, well, I think we, we can't think about just one action by the central bank as being sufficient to influence the direction of, uh, of the inflation. What we have is that we've seen over the last 14 months or so a steep increase in the policy rate. And in the, in the opinion of the Bank of Ghana, it's beginning to bear fruit. So they've gotten to a point where they feel that it's not necessary to immediately increase the policy rate any further. Now, as to whether this will affect interest rate, well, there are three things that go into the setting of the interest rate. The first, so currently we use what we call the Ghana reference rate, which has replaced what used to be the old base rate formula. Mm -hmm. So there are three things that go into that. The, Treasury bill rate, the 91 day treasury bill rate, the interbank rate, which is the rate at which banks lend money among themselves overnight and on a short term basis, and then also the monetary policy rate. So, what this means is that if the other things that play a major role also don't change, then we expect that the interest rate, lending rate, should remain stable. But all those things can be stable, and yet interest rates might go up because. Outside of the Ghana reference rate, the banks who lend have to assess individual borrowers' uh, credit readiness and impose a risk premium. So if banks perceive that the economy is getting more risky, it's getting more risky to do business and become profitable, even though the central bank has kept the policy rate the same, they could, they could still increase their interest rate. And, and, and I asked that specifically because... Um, when we had the inflation rates, for example, hiking, going up very high, we saw the Bank of Ghana putting up or increasing the MPC rates 
at very exponential rates and we saw no effects and I am that's what I'm asking whether with with the explanation that you have, you have, you have, you've given whether you anticipate that moving forward we are going to see anything positive so I mean first of all I think it's difficult to say that the the, the hikes didn't work I understand why you say that because at the same time that they were raising the rates, the inflation the, the, was, the going inflation was really going up at the same time. Yeah. One one thing we have to understand is that so when you are raising the policy rate, and at the same time the economy is seeing other shocks, you might still see the inflation rate going up because at that time the currency was depreciating very sharply. Mm -hmm. So and the economy was in real deep trouble. So that, that, so, but let, I don't want to believe by the point. I think just because you see they are raising the policy rate mm -hmm. and the inflation rate is not coming down, it doesn't mean it's not working because it takes time. When they raise the policy rate, it can take up to a full year for its full effect to be seen in the economy. Mm -hmm. So that's one part. The other part is where we are currently, where, where we, we currently are, you, you, we have raised the policy rate substantially. And I think the Bank of Ghana probably should begin to realize that the current bout of inflation that we are seeing, it will take more than just policy rate hikes. Mm -hmm. Because if you see over the last year or so, the biggest driver of the inflation we have has been food inflation. And a lot of that has to do with production bottlenecks, problems that the food production system and food distribution system has suffered. And we've seen that over the years, in the last couple of years, the government has reduced some support that it used to give to farmers. So farming inputs are born up. Those are primarily cost-driven, and the rate hikes will not necessarily address those problems. So you need to invest more in food production to ensure that we are producing more, but also when food harvest is good, we also improve on the distributional channels so that the food don't stay on farms and rot. Mm -hmm. and that there are vehicles and there are transport systems and the roads are good enough for the food to reach the major consumption the consumption regions. Doc, you hold on. Um, I, I'm told Dr. Joseph Obin is back on the line and he's the president of Guta. Just before I go back to um, the discussions on, uh, on, 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 on the issues happening at the port. Doc, if you're on and you can hear me, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. But quickly... Bank of Ghana has maintained its policy rate at 30%. This should be some good news for you people in business. Hello, Doc. Okay, so, Doc, let me come back to you. I, I was trying to get um, the, 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 the president of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Dr. Joseph Obin, on the line, but um, we seem to have lost him again. But let me come back to you. Apart from the discussions that we are having, do you the impact on businesses practically, prices of goods, prices of um, services? Uh, are you? Do you have any plans? Do you have any expectations, anticipations yet? So, I mean, one thing I can say is that the all those hikes in the policy rate that we've seen has really begun to have a toll on, on, the, on businesses. I think the business environment has not been very good. In fact, the, the summary of economic and financial data that the Bank of Ghana released on Friday, when you look at it, you see that business sentiment, that's business uh, anticipation and feelings about how things are going has softened significantly. It has remained flat. It's not improving at all. And at the same time, even consumer sentiments were down from the previous reading. So, but we, sh we shouldn't really look at just one thing in isolation. And I think we have to look at different aspects of what is happening in the economy. At the same time that, uh, you know, rates are going up, we also see utility tariffs are going up, mm -hmm. which is adding to the cost of business. And we've also seen a few tax handles come on board this year. So all of these have come together to ensure that the business environment is extremely tough. So, yes, the, you know, halting the rate increases is okay, but it's only a minor relief. I think until the other problems that 
Ghanaian business environment is are facing until other problems are addressed. I don't think that conditions will be any friendlier anytime soon. But do you see the other problems being fixed? For example, you 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 seem to be agreeing that uh, the monetary policy is is probably being looked at very very professionally and technically. But do you see the fiscal policy, for example, being fixed as well? Do you see the other factors of the macroeconomic indicators being fixed as well? We, we have a fairly stable exchange rate currently, but do you see it stabilizing in, in, the, in the few months ahead of us? Well, I mean, let's, let's think about why the, the city has stabilized mostly this year. I think the, a big reason is that the foreign debt that we owe, we are not paying. Mm -hmm. So it means that the pressure that usually comes from the city, because we are not paying our foreign debt, that, that has helped bring down the pressure on the city. But, you know, fundamentally, that doesn't solve the problem. I think now in terms of the broader fiscal framework, you know, I think we, we all should understand that once you go into an IMF program, things, the macroeconomic environment gets worse before they improve. So at the moment, because government is being forced to, you know, rationalize the spending, even though this, in this particular IMF program, we are not doing a lot of that. Mm -hmm. But that has meant that government is, being, is placing too much emphasis on raising more revenue. Mm -hmm. That means, and they have opted not to do so by broadening the tax base, but to bring more tax handles. So I think all of those are really going to tough, make the environment tougher. And we know that in the current IMF program, we are going to see periodic upward reviews of the, of the utility tariffs. And so all of those come together. I don't think over the next six months to one year, those things are going to reverse. But if, you know, what the government is doing to support other areas of the economy, if those begin to bear some fruit, then we might see some easing of the difficulties. But from where I sit, I don't see, you know, the business environment improving significantly over the next six months to one year. All right. So, so thank you very much, Doc, for your time this evening. I'm sure we'll fall back on you um, in the next window. And of course, when the exchange rates and all of that um, comes up, we, we will come back to you. So uh, it's been a very exciting night. We've spoken about the issues of GRE and that of the Traders Association, especially those who operate at the port. And of course, we're speaking, uh, we've spoken a little about the monetary policy rates announced by the bank of Ghana. That's the governor. Let me say a special happy birthday to you, Anita Amponsa, who is a member of the BMW team, and I think she is a loyal lady too, a friend of my very good friend, uh, Ochimai DC. Happy birthday to you, Anita Amponsa. Enjoy the day. I think it's tomorrow. So tomorrow, wherever the party is, just invite us. We will all, jo all join in. Good evening to you, everyone that joined us. And for those of you who sent in text messages, we haven't been able to read them. Forgive us. Next week, we will read them. Good evening. My name is Kwesi Efriye.